Hi friends. All right, so for today, we are going to do a couple different things. But what I want to start with is reviewing the clapping game that we started learning on Tuesday. Do you remember what it was called? Omochi Otsuki Masho. And did you remember that video of the man in Japan making the mochi? Wasn't that incredible to watch? So impressive what they do. And so our clapping game, remember, is imitating that. So I want to just review the words really quick and make sure that we have that part down. So can you tap your foot or tap like this? Or you can clap. I can't clap because I'm going to hold this for you. But just do something to keep the beat. I'll do this. As though you, you can clap because this is a clapping game. But we're just going to do this to that steady beat. And I want you to repeat after me. Here we go. Omochio, your turn. Omochio. Tsukimasho. Petanko. Konote. Ton 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 ton. Ton 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 ton. And that last part is super tricky, I know. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna repeat this a couple times, um, speaking through the whole thing. And I want you to see if you can catch on by reading these words here. I'm catching on to the rhythms, but just keep going with this steady beat just so you feel where that pulse is, the heartbeat of the song. And I'm going to speak, and you can join me when you're ready. Here we go. Omochi o tsuki masho, omochi o tsuki masho, petanko, petanko, petan, petan, petanko. Konote, 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 konote. Don, 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 don. Here I go again. See if you can join me. Ready and omochi o tsuki masho, omochi o tsuki masho, petanko, petanko, petan, petan, petanko. Konate, 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 konate. Don, 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 don. That was really fast. Why don't we slow it down a little bit, all right? So I'm going to get you a chance to get all of those words in because I know there's a lot. But just, you can go ahead and keep looking at this while you clap. We're going to go a little bit slower. We'll do it twice again. Here we go. Omochi otsuki masho. Omochi otsuki masho. Petanko. Petanko. Petan, petan, petan. Tanko, konate, 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 konate. Ton ton ton, ton ton ton, ton 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 ton. Here we go one more time. Omochi o tsuki masho, omochi o tsuki masho. Patanko, patanko, patan patan patanko. Konate, 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 konate. Don don don, don don don, don 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 don. Amazing. Okay, take one more look. Try speaking each of these words and see if you know how to do it. The first one. What is that? Omochio. This one below it. That's tsukimasho. Then we have. Petanko, then we have Konote, then we have Ton 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 Okay, I'm gonna put this down so that I can start clapping with you. So remember, you have a partner. Pretend there's a partner here. One person is going like this. Like an alligator mouth. Just nice and steady. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. Keep it, keep it at whatever pace you need it to be to make it possible for you. And remember, the hand on the bottom isn't moving because they need to be able to reach out and touch that one. So if it's moving, they're gonna be like, oh, where am I going? So, just like this. 
So let's pretend to be partner one. The partner one is gonna be this person. Let's do it together and we're gonna speak and we're just gonna clap our hands like this. Ready and a uh, here we go. Omochi o tsukimasho. Omochi o tsukimasho. Petanko, petanko, petan, petan, petanko. Konate, 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 konate. Don 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 don. Beautiful. Now, if I switch over to this side, and let's pretend now I am partner number two. Partner number two has a little bit more difficult of a job because they're actually gonna do some stuff. So first off, they just start by doing the same thing and copying partner number one for omochi o tsukimasho, omochi o tsukimasho. Now, the next part is the tricky part. So they're gonna clap their hand and then clap touch just like this their partner's hand so I'm using my hand for both but pretend here um yes I'm gonna just pretend there's a the, their hand is here and you're gonna reach out and just touch their hand just like this pet tongue co pet tongue co pet tongue pet tongue pet tongue co we're just gonna do those two parts today. So notice, let me point out something. There are four parts to this song. Part number one, omochi o tsukimasho. That part is just clapping. Then we have part number two, which is petanko, petanko, petan, petan, petanko. Then we have part number three, which is konote, 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 konote. And part number four. Don, 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 I notice when you're clapping at the end, your hands are moving where your voice is moving. So, don, 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 Which is kind of cool because it makes it a little bit easier to remember. We're just going to focus on parts one and two. So, once again, part one. Can you try it with me? Just clapping like this. And then we speak omochi o tsukimasho. So get those hands clapping just like this. Ready and a uh, let's speak. Omochi o tsukimasho. Omochi o tsukimasho. The next part you clap. Petanko, petanko, petan, petan, petanko. Can you try that with me? Ready and a uh, here we go. Pet tongue co, pet tongue co, pet tongue, pet tongue, pet tongue co. Awesome. All right. Now I am going to ask you on another page of the seesaw activity, I would like you to do a recording or a video of you speaking the text for Omochio so that I know I can help you if you have any trouble with any of the pronunciation or any of the words or the rhythms. I can hear what it sounds like when you speak it. I would love to hear that. So I'm gonna have a page where you get to do that. But for right now, we are gonna move on to something else because we have three words that are gonna be our music words of the day, okay? And those three words today are ostinato, round, and harmony. Now, each of those words is gonna have something to do with one of our songs. Now, ostinato, we learned that word on Tuesday. Do you remember what it means? Go ahead and tell me. This is an ostinato. Do you know why? Because it repeats over and over again. And then you can sing something on top of it or play something on top of it. Or you could add another rhythm. But it's an ostinato. And it's a rhythmic ostinato because it's just rhythms that are repeating over and over again. Remember we sang a song Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I went in, filled with pumpkin pie. 
and we had a rhythmic ostinato that went with that one. Well, I'm going to tell you a secret. There's another song that we've learned already this year that has a rhythmic ostinato. And the song is, I Love the Mountains. We did this song a few lessons ago, and I am wondering if any of you remember it. Give me a thumbs up if you remember singing, I Love the Mountains. Or a thumbs down if you don't remember it. That's okay, because we're gonna, we're gonna like re-review it and we're gonna add some stuff to it today. So, ostinato. That word is going to be relevant in I Love the Mountains because we are going to pat our legs and clap just like this. Can you copy me? Now I'm going to sing our song. If you remember it, if you remember all the words, you can join in. Here I go. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fireside. When the lights are low, boom de da boom de da boom de da boom de da boom. Does that sound familiar? Do you remember? Do you remember what else we did with this song? We had some actions. For mountains, we did, I love the mountains. Do you remember what Rolling Hills was? I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. And then daffodils, we did. I love the daffodils. Then we had fireside. Remember, firesides are cozy. So we did this with our arms. I love the fireside. And then there was a clap. When the lights are low. And we had like lights going down low for that. And then we sing boom de da boom de da boom de da boom de da boom. Cool. Are we remembering this a little bit? All right. So, let's sing it all together. See if you can join me on the whole song, okay? And we're going to do it twice through. Do you remember what that means? That means when we sing Boom de da boom de da boom de da boom de da. I love the mountains. We go right back into it and we save that last boom for our second and final time because it really makes it sound like the end of the song. All right, we'll do it twice through. If you can't join on the first, come on in on the second. We'll be excited to have you. All right, let's get our ostinato going. Copy me, just like this, nice and steady. And here we go. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside. When the lights are low, boom de da boom de da boom de da boom de da. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside. When the lights are low, boom de da boom de da boom de da boom de da boom. Awesome job, everyone. So that is our song, I Love the Mountains. And we know it has an ostinato. And we know that an ostinato is a repeated musical idea or phrase. It's, it's notes that are just repeated over and over again. It adds a little bit extra something to the song. Now, what's our next word on our little list? Round. Can you tell me something that is round? How about the sun? The sun is round. My kitchen table is round. A basketball is round. My glasses are kind of round. And when something is round, it just keeps going in a circle. And our song, I Love the Mountains, can do that too. And when you sing in a round, which is what I Love the Mountains is, it means that you can have one person start and they start singing and then a second person is gonna join in at a different part in the song. So, 
perhaps I would start singing, I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. And then while I keep going with my song and saying, I love the flowers, a different person might start at, I love the mountains. And that's super cool. And it provides this cool texture of like voices overlapping and different things happening. And it's really cool. Can I show you what that sounds like? Let's listen to I Love the Mountains being sung in a round. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. I love the fireside, I love the lights are low. I love the fireside, when the lights are low. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills, I love the fireside, I love the lights are low, I love the fireside, when the lights are low, boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da boom. Okay, so did you notice how there was three of me? There was two of me singing and I was doing our motions, but they, the two me's were singing at different times, but they still sounded really good together, right? And they were singing the exact same thing. It was just happening apart from each other. And then I also had my ostinato going the whole time. So this time I'm going to have you listen to it. And as it plays, I want you to pick one of me to join in with. It could be the ostinato. You could just do this with the video, or you could pick the first one of me that starts it, and you could sing along with me, or you could start after and do the second me and sing with her. But I want you to go back, and I'm going to play this video, okay? Here it comes. Get ready. You're going to sing along with one of me, or do the ostinato, okay? That's your job. Do you know what your job is? You're going to sing along to the video this time. All right, here it is. Good luck. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. I love the fireside, I when the lights are low. I love the fireside, when the lights are low. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the fireside. I love the lights are low. I love the fireside. When the lights are low, boom di da, boom di da, boom di da, boom di da, boom. Okay, I hope that went well for you, and I hope you enjoyed singing along. Now, did you notice how? Even though I was singing two different things, they sounded good together. And that brings us to our third word of the day, which is harmony. And harmony is one of my favorite things about music. It can be kind of an interesting thing to talk about because it can mean a lot of different things and it gets more complex the more you know about music. But for us right now, all you have to know is that harmony is what happens when there are two notes happening at the same time. So when I was singing, I love the mountains, what was happening when the other person joined is I was singing, I love the flowers, and the other person was singing, I love the mountains. So together, there was two notes happening but they still sounded really good together. They sounded nice. It was like that note wasn't alone anymore. It felt safe, it felt comfortable. And so in music, sometimes we can have multiple notes happening and that's when we get harmony. And I like singing with other people in harmony, but harmony can also, it could be on the piano like this. So that was two notes at the same time, but they sounded really nice together, didn't they? 
I could also play different notes but they still sound good so you can have lots of different combinations of notes that all sound good together so I have a song that I wanted to share with you because I think it's a really beautiful song and it's a really beautiful song to talk about harmony with so this is a chord you don't have to know what that means it's just what it is and in the video I'm about to play you, I'm playing the guitar. So the guitar is playing these chords underneath. on top of those chords and you'll notice I add on to each other so you're gonna see one video and then I'm gonna all of a sudden there's gonna be another voice singing and then there's gonna be another voice singing and those are all harmonies that are being added onto this song so I want you to be able to as you watch that video hum along to the melody and so let's learn this melody together the song is called Dylan Bay so, the melody goes like this. just humming along as I sing that. So just So that's the melody and now we're going to listen to Dylan Bay and you'll have lots of chances to sing the melody because it's going to repeat quite a few times and you'll hear the same melody over and over again so you'll have lots of chances to hum along with me. I hope you enjoy this recording of Dylan Bay. Dylan Bay. 